That's right, Jackie. We are inside St. Joseph Center. Now, pastries and coffee, that's what's being served right now. The actual breakfast is at 8. As you can see, we've got some volunteers working hard here this morning. Now, I was here on Thanksgiving, and there are even some familiar faces. Joanne is around here. She's been volunteering for 20 years or so. Now, these will be filled with bacon, eggs, sausage, uh, everything that anyone could want for a breakfast on Christmas. As you can see, we've got some volunteers right over here. Uh, they've got their plastic aprons on. They're getting ready to work. Now, later in the day, 13,000 people will be served a Christmas meal all across Northeast Ohio. We were here yesterday as volunteers prepared the meal and also served dinner. It's a 40-year tradition for St. Augustine to serve the needy on Christmas Day, but really, they're doing that every day. Three meals are served Monday through Friday, and two meals are served on Saturday and Sunday. But today, of course, one of their biggest days, Sister Corita Ambro is in charge here. She says St. Augustine feeds the spirit as well as the stomach. So we try to serve everybody all year long. People know that if they haven't got a place to go, they can come here to get a meal. And as you can see, we are in the kitchen right now. Things are just getting started. They're cutting open the boxes. We've got uh, what looks like sausage over there, some milk. Everyone's just working hard here. So uh, we will be sure to keep you updated throughout the morning. Jackie, back to you. Sarah, thank you. The reason for the season happening right behind you. We love that.